begin a uh, process of plant breeding. We get together our crossing kit, which involves uh, some fine pointed scissors, forceps, crossing tags, crossing bags, ties, pencil, ethanol for cleaning forceps. Now, first we select the ear uh, that we're interested in. We're looking for an ear that's pre-anthesis, um, but clear of the flag leaf. And to begin with this, what we do is we first remove the spider bits at the base of the ear, and we also remove florets from the central parts of the spike. So removal of these central florets, leaving two florets on the outside, which are the most mature. These are easy to work with, because all the plant parts are a little bigger. The central ones are removed because the uh, anthers inside are very small to work with. step is to cut the tops of the florets off. This allows you to work inside the floret, removing the anthers uh, much easier. So what we're doing now is pulling out green immature anthers which will make this ear male sterile. And the important thing is to count out three anthers for each florid. Right, so what we're attempting here is to uh, remove three anthers from the floret. So whole anthers, what I've tried to achieve is <clears throat> and not damaging the female parts as we remove the male. See the anthers are very bright green. If at this stage they are starting to look yellow, uh, this means that the pollen is probably getting too close to uh, anthesis. So we can remove this side. The central florets have been removed. We're cutting the tops off. And going into each floret. Possible removing two or three anthers at one time. Counting them out all the time. One rogue anther left in is enough to ruin the ear. mature part of the ear being about two-thirds of the way up so if you're going to have any trouble with mature anthers this is where you'll find the problem Three, 
here just ensuring that these central florets are removed. Just nipping the tops of the anthers as you pull them out. If you go too deep and nip too hard, you break them in half. <clears throat> okay, so now we have an ear that's uh, completely had all its anthers removed, so it's not going to pollinate itself at all. And we're going to look for bringing in some donor pollen from another plant. Uh, it takes a while to know for the, the, the ear to mature to the correct stage for pollination to occur. For this one, probably about three days time. But until that point, what we'll do is we'll label the plant with some identification and we'll get a crossing bag popped on. This will ensure that no pollen, rogue pollen comes in in the meantime. We'll just tie that on and uh, put that away and come back to it in three days time looking for pollen that we want to introduce to this plant.